Do you find yourself fighting against and complaining about things that actually bless you, that serve you and help you in life? Think about it. In areas of your life, what are some things that you complain about and you fight against and resist regularly, but are actually there to help you? So how many of you complain about going to work? And yet going to work is where you provide service and that's how you get money to pay for your bills and different things that you enjoy doing. And yet you complain about going to work. And if it's a job that you really don't like, well, who can choose you know, whether you're there or not? You, right? As a child, did you fight against parents that were trying to help you in certain ways? But as a child, you just thought they were restricting your freedom. And so in, in life, do you find yourself complaining about difficult times? Do you find yourself fighting against the, the flow of life that's pushing you and guiding you and shaping you to be who you were born to become? Because many of us have this idea that we think life should just be easy. That if we lived the perfect life, we would have no problems. And yet, if we actually had that life where it was only light, it was only easy, there were no problems, what would that actually look like for you? Would you actually appreciate it? If, you, if it was always easy, would you know that it was easy? And I've seen this pattern come up throughout my life. I've seen it come up in many of the books and movies and things that I've been watching and reading, and it's the same pattern, that in order for life to be meaningful, there has to be the light and the dark. There's a episode in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that has, you know, to me stood out and has paint, paints this idea very, very beautifully. And so in the episode, the, each of them, the characters, they had a choice. They could get rid of one thing in their life that they wish never had happened one thing in their life that they just thought was so bad, so traumatic, that they, they would be much better without it. And so they each picked a different thing. And then they were able to go into life as if that thing had never happened. And what was interesting was that it changed all of them. One of them, who was a hero, in the changed alternate reality, became a villain because he didn't have that experience that prompted him or moved him to act. So there's a saying that your mess can become your message. But if you've never gone through the mess, what's your message? And so in your life, some of those things that you are fighting against and arguing about are some of the most beautiful things in your life at this time. They're shaping you, they're pushing you, and yes, it might be difficult, it's the birth process, and it can be very painful and very difficult to get through. It can feel like it's life-threatening and risky as we go through this. But life has our best interest in mind. Karma has your best interest in mind. And as you allow yourself to move through it, you will be shaped, you'll be guided, and you'll be moved, and you'll become someone who is much stronger, has much more depth, as you've gone through the complexities of this balanced life. So remember that you are a miracle. You do have a purpose, and there is meaning in this moment. Whether you see it or not, in this moment there is meaning. And you can fight it, you can resist it, you can complain about it, or you can open yourself up to trust. Just trust that life has your best interest in mind. Trust that things will work out. Trust the process. And open yourself up to the idea of gratitude. What are some things right now that you have to be grateful for in your life? Maybe you, you don't see how it's working for you. But I'm here at Hope to Cope to let you know that it will work out. You will get through this and you will be better because of it. You will be stronger because of it. You will be more capable because of it. So stay connected. Stay true. Stay here. It'll be worth it.
you are worth it. You are a miracle. You do have a purpose and your life has meaning. So thank you for being you. And that's the reason why I'm here at Hope to Cope every day with a message of hope, just to give you a glimmer. Maybe you can't see it for yourself, but, but if you can hear that you're a miracle, that you have a purpose, and if that little ray of light can shine through and give you hope to help you cope with today, that's what this message and that's what this video and that's what this channel is all about. So if this message today was for you, go and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Remember, I'm here every day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Mm -hmm.